We had just uh, kind of pockets of sunshine today with the clouds uh, draped over much of central Alabama, such as the case right now. We've got thick clouds overhead over Birmingham. Live look from the BJCC. Mostly mid and upper level clouds, but no low level clouds. That's a pretty common feature of this time of year where you don't have a lot of low level moisture, but there's moisture higher up in the atmosphere. That's definitely the case on the satellite and radar imagery, but nothing, nothing on radar, but plenty to see on satellite imagery with all those clouds passing overhead. 43 degrees in Hamilton right now. That's the coldest spot on the map. Those of us farther down to the south and east, faring a little bit better. 52 in Birmingham. We've got 50 in Tuscaloosa, 58 in Alex City. That's the warm spot, as well as in Aniston. Farther down to the southeast, got some storms in progress. This is what's left of all the rain that we had yesterday. We picked up around half an inch of rain in Birmingham. We were concerned about severe weather. Thankfully, it didn't pan out, which is some great news. That rain's still in progress across much of southern Georgia and the Carolinas. We stay pretty dry for the rest of the night tonight. Clouds continue to roll overhead through till tomorrow morning. It's starting to feel eh, more like winter. We were in the 60s and even the 70s, some spots, over the past couple of days, but that changes tomorrow morning when you wake up to upper 30s. Tomorrow afternoon, while we see more sunshine, it's uh, not really going to do all that much to warm us up. We get up into the low 50s for daytime highs and kind of uh, staying benign into Monday. Maybe a few more clouds during the day Monday, but uh, still seeing more spots in the 50s. That continues into Tuesday. Winds out of the northwest, higher up in the atmosphere. That, keep, that keeps the uh, steady stream of colder temperatures coming with mainly uh, cold, dry air coming out of the northwest. Next system passes through Thursday. This will give us our next best chance of rain early in the day on Thursday, but uh, nothing really substantial expected. Early on in the forecast, we already uh, can get a good idea of what, how strong the system is going to be, and it doesn't look very strong. So maybe just, uh, just some rain, if anything, lasting into uh, Thursday night and Friday morning, and that should be about it. Thankfully, nothing too significant. So over the next five days, Bone dry until we get to Thursday. No big chances of rain until we get to that next system early on Thursday. And that should be about it. Pretty quiet in the weather department for the next few days. Again, overnight tonight, cooling off pretty quickly. Over hour by hour, upper 40s by around 8, 9 o'clock tonight. Then tomorrow morning when you wake up, upper 30s. Tomorrow afternoon, the sunshine will mainly be out in the afternoon. Cloudy and uh, chilly in the morning, obviously. With those lows in the 30s, your full seven-day forecast. Monday and Tuesday, pretty quiet. Uh, these temperatures, while they're not changing all that much, they're really close to average for this time of year. So we expect to see 30s in the morning, Monday through Wednesday. In the afternoon, a little bit better. And again, a 60% chance of rain on Thursday, lasting into Friday, cold and dry at the start of next weekend.